Hello! Today we... I thought it would be fun to play... to actually play The Sims 4 um, with one of the builds I've made. So I thought this is the uh, micro home that I made that's 32 tiles and I created some sims. Ignore the guy on the porch. He has just come to welcome my sims to the neighborhood. He is not a part of the family, so just, just ignore him. Um, I did make some changes to this build since I uploaded the video. Um, for one thing, I added this nice pretty car because the other one was, yeah, pretty ugly and the one we still have over here is kind of blurry and not so nice. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna shop around for some more custom content cars because this one, the detail on this one is so much better. It's by Lori Sims, if you couldn't already tell from the license plate. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, so much better than then uh, what I had done was use the shift bracket and uh, blown up a toy car in The Sims because I didn't realize, you, uh, I didn't think about having uh, custom content cars just because they're useless, your Sim can't drive it, but it just looks so much more realistic to have a car in the driveway even if they can't, can't actually use it. But we can pretend, that's, that's why we're playing The Sims, right? So, alright, so I made this household of, um, wait, let, let me first go back and uh, show you the changes that I've made to the build. It's still, you should, it's a, a little different than, than when you saw it last in, in my video, um, I think it was two videos ago. Um, we have changed things. For one thing, I had created a kind of bunk bed like thing even though we don't have we didn't have bunk beds I should say didn't because um, we do now um, we didn't have bunk beds in the game so I showed you how using a split level you could create a bunk bed so it would, um, yeah except that you had to access it from two different sides um, however uh, I think it was right around Valentine's Day where the creator RVSN, um, let me just show you this object, um, uploaded some bunk beds and they work and I'm so happy it's about time. Um, we've got this uh, pinwheel of death on the Mac here, it's just loading, loading all the objects, but there we go. Um, so let's just bring that up. It is, yes, RVSN or Ravishine has created the That's What She Said uh, uh, bunk bed. And it's a great set. It's got tons of options um, for covers and stuff. And there's this the upper and the lower. And it takes up one tile. And there's this decorative ladder. Um, now I have put up these... I've put up these hanging sheets, um, not sheets exactly, dividers, curtains, um, so it's this one that came with the city living pack, the lavishly long divider, um, just to give them some privacy and separation from the kitchen and added the, you know, some bamboo to block block the way and I was able to shift some objects around um, so now there's there is actually a computer desk and computer underneath one of the bunk beds because it's really cool it's this loft style bed and you'll see when the sim gets into it I don't actually have a ladder here but I think that they would just be able to use this top step or the top two steps of the stairs and then just kind of hoist themselves into bed or use the chair that's right underneath uh, as a step stool into bed so that that was my thinking there um, and then the other side there's two beds and a ladder it's a little difficult to see from this angle there we go um, it's just yeah I just love it I love that we now have bunk beds it's about time <laughs> 
and I really don't think I've made that many changes except I did I, I hated having the washer and dryer stacked right next to the front door because it was just in the middle of everything so I was able to move it to the bathroom because um, on the tile where you walk in I now have the shower and you would be able to keep the water from going everywhere um, by uh, there's um, you, you can pull the curtain around you and so my thinking is that, that that's fine and so basically they step into the you, when you go into the bathroom you're stepping kind of into the shower space but you can still reach the the toilet and you can reach the laundry machine and it just works so well because it's only three tiles so technically the bathroom is like two tiles and the laundry it's a laundry slash bathroom um, which works very well and then we still have the laundry hamper where it was and I was able to fit in a nice plant uh, plant pot so that we can have an indoor plant and then I, I was like, well, what is this tile going to be for? The one where the laundry machine used to be. And I just added another counter so, um, and some hanging, some hooks so that they can put their outdoor, their coat and hat when they first get in. They can put that there. And doesn't everyone have like a counter or a table when they first walk in that they throw their keys and their mail and just whatever they have they just put it down and so I really wanted that in this build and so I've added that so there's just a pile of letters and bills and then also just a little drink station so uh, they can fix themselves a drink as soon as they walk in the door because um, everyone aspires to have that right or is it just me no it's probably everyone so that's that's what I changed about the build. I did add, yeah, I think I added some more decor to the outside of um, the outside area. I just wanted to make it a little more interesting, so I added these cute lights and um, I added a microphone out there uh, just because, yeah, it just seems like um, you could get some skill building and you will see that let, let me introduce the sims and it will now become clear why i've got the microphone so this is the family ignoring the guy on the stairs he is not the family i'm just going to tilt the the camera so we don't really see him <laughs> this is the family these three so um the first i'm going to tell you a little bit about my idea of each of them because I like to have a story to go with each of them and why they're living here and who they are. So the first sim we have on the left here is Brie and Brie is she's hardcore environmentalist, she's healthy, she loves to exercise, she loves gardening, uh, she's uh, she can be a little, I guess, a little uptight sometimes about what you should and shouldn't do. So she's that type of roommate where she's going to secretly or not so secretly judging, judge you for eating a bag of Doritos and, you know, lots of things like that. But you love her anyway because she cooks healthy food and she does make you um, think more about what you're doing and, and all of that. And she makes that she cooks and, and bakes and I mean so it's a love-hate relationship with that type of roommate right because they clean and they cook and they they make everything neater and but uh, there are some drawbacks so um, I haven't really figured out career-wise what I want her to do but we'll we'll see what happens and then the next thing we have is Sonia. Um, let's just, she's kind of twisted in a very weird pose here. Uh, yeah, that's, I don't know what she's doing. Oh yeah, I think I had her, here, let me press play. I think I had her singing. 
Yes, I did. Um, so she is singing very poorly. Uh, her aspiration is to be a singer, but of course she starts the game at level zero. Um, so it's pretty ato atrocious right now, but she's kind of moody, but she's sophisticated. She likes quality things in life and admires famous classical singers, and she loves classical arts and classic books. and. That's basically my thinking, and she likes just, she loves the aesthetic of black and white. So you'll see that a lot in her wardrobe. I also style Sims with, uh, in mind with their preferences, like I, I give them preferences like this Sim only likes black and white, they don't like to think about their style very much, they just want everything to match, and they don't mind being dark or gloomy or anything like that. So that, that's Sonya. And then, you know, Brie is very different. She likes vibrant colors, but she likes clothes that are, are durable, you know. Uh, she doesn't have a huge wardrobe, and I, I deliberately made it that way because I feel like she has sewn a lot of her clothes, knitted a lot of her tops, and, but she's had to buy, like, denim because she can't make denim shorts. Um, she's not perfect yet, um, so that's my thinking there. And then the last sim we have here is Brie. Oh no, sorry, Layla. I keep getting them mixed up. I I'll get there. This is Layla. Now Layla is kind of a princess. She's a bit of a rich kid who is gone to, she's gone to university. That's her Mercedes in the driveway, of course. Uh, her parents gift to her. And she's a little out of touch with reality. She she is a bit snobby she doesn't doesn't really have any skills but she's she's exploring and she will hopefully realize now what what life is like and it's going to be difficult for her sharing sharing a space such a small space with her two roommates because it's going to be adjust an adjustment because her her room in her mommy and daddy's mansion was larger uh, than this entire house and so she's gonna have to adjust and that's because her parents her parents went bankrupt or something uh, their company went under and even though they kept their house or um, they they have to like Airbnb it out or something and and they can't pay for her university like they thought they'd be able to and so now she has to adjust so that's my thinking that is the story behind these sims so let's get into playing with them and see what happens oh that's some great singing there Sonia just gonna have to turn the volume down <laughs> Okay, um, let's see, I'm going to, and I, off camera, I had them all apply to university, and we'll see when they get those letters back, um, I had try, tried filming this once before, and it didn't work out, so, uh, we do, we may have a couple skills already created, although I really didn't do much with them, so I'm just gonna see, oh uh, yeah, we did have, Layla has gained the baking skill, but, that makes sense to me. I think rich, you know, rich kid, she would she would have baked at home, dabbled in making cookies or something out of a package, and so she, that's okay. She can have that skill. Oh, she's got level two of video gaming. That that also makes sense to me. All right, so I don't know what she's gonna do. I guess she'll be like the baker. She likes sweet things. Um, let's. See. Oh, we had food made already. Yep, Brie made that. We're just going to put that in the fridge. Um, so yeah, also the beds I personalized. So the black pillow is, of course, Sonia. Um, the black and white comforter. And then the pink. Um, and like, uh, hers, her, she's got the computer, that the iMac underneath her bed. Um, and really the, mo the most space and the most uh, private area is of course Layla's and then we've got Brie who she's got flowers and leaves all over her bed and pillows and my thinking there is that of course she loves 
She loves nature. So let's have Bree. Maybe can she go for a run? Go jogging. And then maybe she can tend to the plants. She can research them. Sure, that works. Oh, that sounds horrible, Sonia. Please get better soon. Uh, let's make sugar cookies, yeah. So yeah, she's got her microphone. She brought it with her, so let's go have her sing something with a tune, hopefully. Please have a tune. We're just ignoring that guy until he leaves. Mortimer, oh, it's Mortimer Goth. Ah, I remember starting The Sims 1 with Mortimer Goth and Bella Goth. And they're still here in The Sims 4. It's comforting, I like it. So my plan with uh, playing with this build is to show you guys just exactly how livable it is. You can have three fully adult sims in this tiny, tiny build. And it's going to work great. Why is she holding nothing? There's nothing in her hand. Why is she holding nothing? Do you guys see that? Why? There's nothing there. Okay, they appeared. They just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> well, that was glitchy. That is The Sims, I guess. Uh, oh, good. The cookies are excellent. Is she hungry? That's Sonia. Layla? Yep, she's hungry. Let's eat some cookies then. She's materialistic, yeah, so um, she wants to be wealthy, of course, like her parents, Layla, um, and then Sonia, of course, wants to be a musical genius, and Brie, her aspiration is to be a master chef. Um, she wants to be make healthy ingredients taste good. Can she just listen? Is Sonia not? Oh, she's not. She's not actually singing anymore. Okay, sing. The itsy bitsy spider. That's not bad. She's improving. <laughs> yeah, Layla's gonna watch. She's silently judging, but she's going to enjoy that outdoor entertainment. Maybe we'll have her, like, tell some jokes. I feel like... Hmm... I don't know, that's not... I feel like she's not actually that funny. She just wants to sing. <laughs> okay, you can get cookie cookies after you sing. Oh, 
Oh, why is this? I tested this. This worked. It worked, people. It worked. Okay, come on, Layla. I swear I tested this and it worked. Go to bed. Go on. It worked! What? Is the curtain in the way? I might have added the curtain afterwards, but I swear this worked. How can this not work? Okay, what? Alright. I'll move the curtain. Okay, well, that's that's annoying. It was working, I saw it, and it worked. So, maybe the bunk beds are a little glitchy at this point, and maybe they sometimes work and sometimes don't work. And we're back. We have figured out the problem. It was the ladder, the decorative ladder that I had over on the other side for some reason that was stopping her from getting into bed. I had added that after I tested. Um, so yeah, they're just going to have to haul themselves into bed or yeah, just um, yeah, use the chair. They're going to have to use the chair um, from the computer to get into bed, but I think that makes perfect sense. That is fine. Um, or we can just imagine the ladder is there. Um, but uh, it's breaking the game, so yeah. Um, so she's kind of uh, in a weird uh, glitching position right now. She's got her head through the curtain, but she's. I'll show you, she can sleep. So she's sleeping now. And then we're gonna have her use the computer. And then, yeah, she's nervous. I would say she's nervous about university, and so she's psyching herself. She's gonna psych herself up and try on outfits, and then maybe practice debating. Yeah, that sounds like her. After she wakes up. Uh, where's Bree? Yeah, whoa, she's like way over here. Okay. Uh, how'd you end? I mean, she was, she was jogging, but wow, she went far. Huh. Where even is she? <laughs> okay, where where am I? Where where is home? Wow, I don't even know where she is. Oh, there's home. Okay. So she will just can she jog back here? Go here. Oh, she's lonely. Well, come back home. Don't just stand in the middle of the street in the middle of nowhere and then maybe you won't be so lonely. They're getting to know each other. La, 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 la. Ba, okay, ba, stop singing. Ba, 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 ba. She has nailed that twinkle Ooh, twinkle little it. star though. Shabashu canoe me. Oh 
Buena. Oh, kiss my little That was a bit rude. Sonia just walked away. <laughs> Layla on the computer. I just love this. I can't get over the bunk beds. Oh, she can use the, the mirror. Navy, Tortura, She's going to, uh, no, she's going to sleep. Uh, have another, oh, she can't be eating the cookies. She was that hungry, she ate a sugar cookie. What was she thinking? She was so delirious and lonely, so she, she ate the sugar cookie. Oh, wow. Um... Do you have food in here? Um, pretty sure. Where is the open option? There we go. You have hamburgers, eggs and toast, mac and cheese, hot and sour soup. Yeah, hot and sour soup. I think she she could eat that and be fine. <laughs> that can be healthy. Wow, uh, Layla's having a fun yes, time today. trying on her objects and yes. practicing her speech right next to yes, Sonia, to who's me. trying to sleep. She's and such an annoying roommate already. <laughs> One thing I did is I gave, gave them all different voices, so hopefully... I can tell, like, you know, who is, uh, who's who, boy, and they sound more u unique, and James we'll get to know them. Okay, maybe James she should look for her first boy, job, James. because they do not yes, have a lot of money. Uh, yes. Oh, I gave them, like, $15 to start with, but I think I just, yeah, I just sold one of the curtains because I was... Uh, worried it was conflicting with the bed. Um, I actually don't think it was, but uh, it's fine. We don't need that other curtain. It was just kind of annoying in the way there, but um, so we'll just keep that for now. She sold it for the money. Um, and yeah, my thinking is they they have to make do with a small amount of money they had saved after high school. And they're going to have to start paying rent, so they're going to have to get jobs. Okay, Brie, what are you doing? You're just sitting there. Um, maybe and then maybe some sleep for you. I'm thinking. Whose computer is that? <laughs> It's not yours. Yes to me. Uh, not yours. Yes. Ah, it's yours. Yes to me. We frau. Happy um. Brain trip. Huh? Inca flu tonka pal. Okay, stop practicing your debate while they're trying to sleep. It's rude, Layla. Ooh. 
Research and debate skill. Oh, wow. Okay, this must be part of the university pack. I like that. She's going to learn to clean because, you know, she grew up with a maid and now she's realizing that dishes don't just vanish and you have to actually move them and clean them yourself. Oh, what job are we going to do for Layla? Okay, she's going to... I think we're going to start with, you know, something achievable, something that she could get without any actual skills. So I think she would like, yeah, retail probably. Or a barista. I'm thinking retail. Wait. Um, yeah, let's do retail. 9 to 1 or 6 to 10. I'm going to say 6 to 10. Because she'll probably have classes during the day. So if she gets accepted to university, that is. need some social hmm is anyone to talk to out on the street at 3 25 in the morning no no there isn't yeah i feel like she'd be a social media person so let's have her do that <laughs> Who is this? Okay, sure. Send a text. Ooh, twelve followers. Okay, let's see. You need to eat something. Yeah, I feel like she'd just eat brownies or cookies or, sure, pudding. She's going to eat breeze pudding. Definitely, yeah. She'd be the type who'd be, who, the, the food is in the fridge and she's just like, oh, it's here. Okay, I could take it. And she doesn't realize it's somebody else's or doesn't, but she'll, she'll learn. She's thinking about pudding as she's eating pudding. She's so simple. That's why you gotta love Layla. Oh, she's thinking about her next meal as well. Did I give her the foodie trait? Skills. No, oh, she's squeamish. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. She's squeamish. Yeah, she is a foodie because she grew up eating gourmet meals, materialistic and business savvy. That makes perfect sense, I feel, for her. Okay, what is she gonna do next? She's tired, all right. Syndicate. What? I fixed that. You were just sleeping in the bed. Now you're not, s no, really. Okay, are the curtains blocking it? Because that's the only thing. That's the only thing. Okay, fine. We'll sell the curtains. Is that going to fix it? Okay, fine. Sit on the bed. Sit on the bed. Okay, I think this is the glitch. Okay, she has to sit on the bed first. 
Okay, so, and then this weird thing happens, and she's just jumping up here, and she's in the air. Then, then she can sleep. No, she can't sleep. Can she nap? She can nap? Okay, she can only nap. Okay, how does this make any sense? This is frustrating. Okay, so this is why I thought it was working in playtesting, but it actually isn't. But I thought I, ta I thought I got her to sleep. Can she sleep after she naps? If she can nap, why can't she sleep? I don't understand. Don't understand the craziness of this. Okay. Um, all right, so let's quit the nap and see if we can sleep. No. Why can't you sleep? Please sleep. Okay, she, all right, she can only take naps. All right, that's, she lives a life of napping constantly all right she's quirky i mean maybe she's got some insomnia because maybe she can only nap because she's not adjusted to having roommates that's what it is and so she's just gonna nap all the time instead of have any restful sleep because she's such a princess that she she can't sleep unless there's no one else there. Oh, she's just standing there. Sonia. Alright, Sonia, what are we going to give you to do? Let's have you cook. She's going to cook her own food, even though she knows she's horrible at it. So she's only going to make a fruit salad. Mm 